Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an uh, iPhone 12 uh, I think it's iPhone 12 uh, cell phone Hello everyone, in today's video we have an iPhone 12 cell phone and in this video I'm gonna take you on the step by step how you can open it up and how you can replace or remove the battery for your phone If yours is not holding on any more charge you just simply want to replace the battery you can do that with no problem i'll leave the link for the tools and everything i use in the video description in case you want to purchase yours and in this video we're going to take it on step by step how you can replace it really easy all right so let's put this one down and we're going to go over the tools i'll put something on top so it doesn't uh, turn on and reflect on the camera i'll put this one right here Okay. All right, so tool number one is a good screwdriver set. I'll be using an iFix screwdriver set. And from this tool set, we are gonna be using a P2, a P2 screw set bit. And you will need a suction cup. If you get the pro set, they will include you with a suction cup and some tweezers and opening tools. If not, just grab any simple suction cup with a key ring on it. This will do just fine. And for the opening tool, I'll be using a uh, metallic guitar pick. Don't use any plastic, metallic 0.3 millimeters are soft edges and hard to bend, are suitable to opening cases and covers. You need an alcohol, 99% isopropylic alcohol or isopropylic alcohol, whatever you call it. And these are not conductive and they're really good to remove adhesive. I see lots of videos, people like uh, heat it up, put it on a heat play, plate to heat it up a little bit. I don't like heating it up because it can damage the screen or the brightness or the LEDs, stuff like that. So I'd rather use an alcohol. Alcohol is much, much suitable to opening these cases. All right, with this on hand, let's get it started. First thing first, we're gonna power it up. So hold the volume up and power button and power it off. Once it's off, now, we are going to put the suction cup on the portion of the bottom, about half a centimeter towards the top. Nicely, pretty much sucked in there. You want to put your fingers like this, and I'm holding the case from the sides here, like that. Before we do anything, we want to remove the two screws that are on the bottom beside the power jack. I'm not pushing anything on the suction cup yet, so pretty much I'm just holding it. Remove these two long screws from here. Now, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to put a little bit of the alcohol right on the screen on the edges. And let this one soak in on the corners. It will, the fumes from the alcohol is really, that's what we want to get in there. And what I'm going to do, and I will soak an alcohol right on the guitar pick on both sides. Now, I'm going to pull this suction cup upward and push down with my thumbs on the screen and I'm going to find a way, let me zoom in, so, and I'm going to find a way to stick this guitar pick between the screen. I'm just going to work it gently like this back and forward and spray a little more alcohol and work yourself and you should feel that the guitar pick is going in. Oh, there we go. Okay, simply in one inside. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep it in there and I'm going to work myself around. I'm going to put an alcohol on top of the guitar pick and let it soak in and it's going to help blend the adhesive. So I'm just working myself gently to the corners. And again, I'll put a little bit more alcohol on there. And work on this side, let the alcohol drip in. Just finding it a little bit upward. And there we go. Now you're going to open it like a pamphlet towards the, the volume rocker. So just like this. And there we can see it. If you put an alcohol on the battery, it's just going to smush the hex and stuff right on top All right remember the alcohol is not conductive and it's not going to damage anything in here so the adhesive all around in here it's better to blend it off with an alcohol than just put a heat gun on top 
All right, so I'm gonna grab a little a box here. I'll put this some more grizzly, and I'm gonna put this screen just like that. And I'm gonna remove this suction cup here. You're not gonna need it. I'll put it on the table so it doesn't slip. Now you're gonna rest this screen right there. And we are gonna grab ourselves the new battery. Okay, grab the new battery whenever you want to purchase, and it comes with an adhesive in here. So I can see that this one goes in like this. So that means the jack, the connector is on this plate. So we are gonna remove these two screws. These are Y screws, double, triple, zero. So we're gonna remove these screws. These are really, really tiny, like 0.5 millimeters probably. Don't lose them. Grab a tweezers. Remove this cover. And put it to one side. Now you're gonna grab a spatula and we are gonna disconnect the power connector right in here. Put the spatula right underneath and bring this power cable upward. Right there. All right. Now that we have that one in there, we need to remove this what's called the tape underneath. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna see if I can find the head of the tape in here. It should be right over here somewhere. You can do this one here. But if you're replacing the battery, you don't need to do this, all this, I'll show you another way. Because most people will rip this tape out and won't be able to pull it out. You're supposed to grab it like this and twist it and pull it backward but you see it wraps apart and it's really pain to do that so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna grab a metallic spatula which is really hard or a plastic one doesn't matter we are gonna lift it up like this but it's gonna be a little harder so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put an alcohol right on the spatula and it will just follow that and it will fall down right underneath now i can just lift it up Bring it up and that's it. It's much easier like that. So the alcohol, it really blends in the, the adhesive and you can remove it really super easy. You can remove the rest of the adhesive with an alcohol, I guess. But if you want to, you don't want to, you can just put it, leave it right on top. Do not scratch this plate right in here. But you can leave this adhesive in there. You can put adhesive or adhesive. Nothing's going to happen. So. Don't worry about it. I'm gonna leave it in there and leave it drying for a little bit because I don't wanna put a new one on top. So I'm gonna grab this one, the new battery, put a double-sided tape. If you if yours doesn't come in and add a double-sided adhesive, just buy one, just put a strip of adhesive right on top and bring down the I'm gonna try to connect it before putting it down so it's better this way so I know where to position the battery. So. I'm gonna align it. Hold on a second, I think this battery is, uh, they are the same connector, pretty much. So, I have a big finger, so bear with me. It just pretty much you have to pop it in there, and there you go. Once it's in there, you can just hold it and put the battery right in there. So. You don't. I'm gonna lift it up a little bit.
There we go. All right, now the battery is in place. So pretty much I like to put the connector, push down the connector, and then align the battery, put it down, because if you put the battery too close to the bottom side and by one half a millimeter, it's not gonna reach to there, or you put too high, you have to push it down. So it's better to put the connector first and then put set down the battery. Once you put that one in there, you wanna grab your tweezers, remove that hayfig that you put on top of the tweezers too. I need my tweezers. There we go. So we're gonna grab the bracket that holds the connector in place so it doesn't pop out. We are gonna put the two really super tiny screws back on top. So hold it in place and tighten it up. Don't go too crazy on tightening the screws, just firmly. Don't go crazy. There we go. Once you have the battery in there, you can put a double sided uh, glue in here. Uh, what I recommend you guys to use that B7000. You can put a tiny line all around it and it will seal it really nice. So you can put this one, we use this one for the cell phones and repairs. So B7000 to put all around the casing before you put the screen down. Or if you don't want to, you don't need to put it. But just remember, it's not going to be a water resistant. So now what I'm going to do, I can just push it down. But before we do that, we're just going to power it on to see if it powers on. So I'm going to hold it down. I don't know if it has any charge on this battery. It's not powering on, so let's connect the charger. See if it's going to charge. Yep, there we go. So now let's, I'm gonna wait for it to load and see if it's gonna charge actually. So before, you don't wanna push it down, glue it down, and then you realize the battery is defective or it's not connected properly. So before anything, it has a 69%. So I should disconnect it and it still works, 69%. So there we go. I'm gonna hold both volumes up and down and I'm gonna power it off. Now what we're going to do first, you want to put the top portion down and then you want to push the corner down gently and come down all the way down. Again, remember if you want to seal yourself, put a, a B7000 glue before putting this down. And one last thing is to just put the bottom two screws and you should be done. Just remember, I would recommend you guys uh, before powering and on leaving for charging, at least for two hours. After that, you wanna discharge the phone slowly. Don't put any video games or anything like that. Just discharge it slowly. And once it's down to 10 to 20%, then you wanna again charge it. Do not charge halfway through, because you wanna show the battery the means and the high for the load. Okay, I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If you wanna support the channel, you can click that like and subscribe. You can, I really appreciate it. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a the video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.